to really uh, create their own blueprint when they're done. They'll, they'll write their intentions inside the course. They'll answer a lot of questions about who they are, what they are, what they really desire, and then they'll be able to print it. They'll have their own blueprint. And then we also have a free app at iTunes store in the Google Play store called the Creation Frequency where they can download the recorder that's already embedded with high frequency theta brainwave music. And we explain why the science behind all the using sound and using the power of your own voice. We show you how to get into a self Yeah, are you still there? Boy, we just lost you. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully you'll call right back. Okay, let's give it a try here and see. Um, boy, that's unusual. Every, it, that's a problem with Skype. He was having problems with Skype before he, uh, you know, before the show. And then, uh, you know, let's see if I can get him back. I don't know. Let's see if he calls back. But that's the trouble with a lot of people. You know, they 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 give up on on something, and then you know they 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 just let themselves go. Okay, here he is. You know that happens with Skype a lot. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Are we off the air now? No, we're on the air. Oh, okay, great. Can I just finish real quick? Then? Oh, I yeah. Know we're yeah. wrapping up. Yeah. So yeah. So so I really want people to take this course, and we created a free app that you can download at the iTunes Store or Google Play called the Creation Frequency, and just read the simple instructions there, or buy the book, send us an email, get the course for free. I, I can only tell you one thing: even for your health and your your cancer and your bones, if, if you write a powerful enough intention, you listen every morning, every night, everything changes for the better. And so I just encourage your listeners to, one, just buy the book, read it, get the course for free, get the app for free, uh, follow the simple instructions. And I'm not going to say that life is going to get easier because I think life, frankly, is pretty hard, but it's going to get a heck of a lot better. And the things that you truly desire will magically mm, show up in your life or the right opportunities, the right person, the right funding will show up. You'll be shocked at how... You know, when you get into this, the synchronicity of life, when you're really vibrating at high frequency and you're attracting what you truly desire, it's, it's magical. Oh, yeah, I believe it. You want to give the name of the book again? Yeah, so it's The Creation Frequency. It's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Buy it. Send an email to specialoffer at thecreationfrequency.com. Get the course for free. It takes, a, it takes about seven to eight hours to complete it. We spent a ton of money creating it. It's so powerful, so valuable. I promise you your life will get better. Wow. Well, thank you. Hey, Mike, I want to, you know, I know I did a lot of talking and I should have let That's you okay. talk more. I love listening to you. But it, okay, don't worry. But, you know, I, I really, you know, what, what you went through with your, your life and, and, and what you've done, I mean, uh, my hat's off to you. I mean, you know, we need more people like what you well, do. Uh, and I applaud you, too. And I thank you for what you're doing. And, and once again, just keep on keeping on. So together we can make the world a little better. Now, do you have a website you can give out real yeah. quick? So, yeah. So, MikeMurphyUnfiltered.com. You can see I've been interviewed with Larry King, Jack Canfield, been on a ton of shows and blah, blah, blah. And then our nonprofit is Love from Margo, M-A-R-G-O-T, with a T at the end, uh, dot org. That's our nonprofit. And we're doing a lot of work in the community, uh, working with youth, working with women with cancer. And then our, our retreat center in Medellin, Columbia is MountainsofHope.com. And we'll be fully operational in May of next year, but we are renting out for retreats right now. We hold retreats once in a while ourselves, but we'll be 100% open May 2019 to uh, bring in people that really have some issues that they need to deal with and hopefully uh, help them heal themselves. Okay. Hey, Mike, I want to thank you uh, for being on Night Dream Stock Radio. My pleasure. Thank you for having me, Gary. Okay. You have a great week. You too. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Bye. No, but you know what's really important is your mindset. I mean, if you go around with a negative attitude, you're going to find you're not going to get much uh, out of life. I mean, you're not going to make a lot of friends. You're not going to make a lot of money. You're not going to go anywhere in your job. you got to think positive. And if you do have a health issue or if you got an emotional issue, think positive. I mean, so many people pass away because, you know what, they find out they got some type of disease. And then the first thing they, they do is psychologically they give up. And when they give up, the body gives up. Next thing you know, they passed on. 
So I, I really strongly, you know, if anybody out there listening has a health issue, think positive. Stay focused on something. I know it worked with me with my motorcycle. I mean, I focused on that uh, to the point where, you know, uh, I, I rode from Gig Harbor, Washington to uh, uh, Reno to Las Vegas to Hammett, California, the Oregon coast, uh, all the way back. Spent three weeks on the road, you know, riding four or five hundred miles a day on a motorcycle. Yeah, I was in pain, but I forced myself to do it. And it became easier and easier. And I found myself getting stronger and stronger. And you know what? I'm still here. And that's what's important. Okay. I mean, in my case, the cancer really hasn't spread. I mean, you know, if I probably would have had the attitude, which a lot of people have, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Now, touch base a little bit again today uh, in the news. The president, vice president, talked about, well, they're going to create or have uh, ordered the Pentagon to create a six military force. That's the Space Force. You know, uh, Trump uh, back a couple months ago talked about, you know, hinted around, maybe we should create a, a Space Force. Yeah, people didn't take it serious, but now today he's directing the Pentagon. Uh, Pentagon. <laughs> I can't even talk tonight. I'm still kind of stressed out. You know, uh, stressing uh, uh, to the government to now to create uh, a space force. So you know that tells me something is up uh, because he didn't say it, we wanted it basically to protect against other countries. It was to protect the Earth. So, I mean, you got to look at that. I mean, again, what happened with the, the Navy footage of UFOs back here recently released on the news media. Uh, then you had the Secretary of the Air Force saying the next war won't be on the ground. It's going to be in outer space. Do they know something they're not telling us? That's what's uh, kind of scary. Now, I don't know. I've, my Skype is really messing up again. You know, I'm going to go to another system. Uh, one of my weekend uh, hosts uh, has gone to a different system and it seems to be working. So I'm going to look into that later this week and maybe, you know, get away from Skype because I don't know what it is. A lot of times I'll be talking to a guest and the signal just drops right out or people try calling me. It doesn't show up on my computer screen that I got a phone call coming in. No audio, no anything. I, I exit the, uh, the, the program at the end of the show, find out 13 to 17, 20 people, you know, try calling in the show. Well, we're going to try something right now, and hopefully I can get maybe one, one of you uh, to call before we end the show. I think I'm going to end it around 930 tonight, but uh, I can do that because I own the network. Uh, the number is one two five three two zero three six six nine five. Uh, you can call in at one two five three two zero three six six nine five. What I want is a paranormal uh, story that it's really, really scary. Hey, it can be true, or it could be a fib, but something in the paranormal that was scary that happened to you. And again, that's uh, one two five three two zero three six six nine five. Well, what do you get out of it? Well, you know what? To the best story I hear. They're going to get a brand new paranormal book. I got a big stack of books here that all these authors uh, send me every month of, you know, of their new uh, books that they just got released. I got a big stack of books here I want to give away. So, I mean, it's, and was it going to cost you to get the book? Nothing. I'll even pay the shipping. So, you know, again, uh, I'm going to give the number uh, one more time and we'll see if we get any phone calls at one two five three. Two zero three six six nine five. Don't be worried. You're only going to be talking to me, and and only one or two people are going to be listening. So don't worry about being nervous. Uh, you know it's really strange. Our stat. Okay, we got a call right now. Let's take this one right here. Hi, you're on Night Dreams Talk Radio. Who do we have? This is Robert from uh, from Dexter, Oregon. Dexter, Oregon. Hi, Robert. How's the weather in Oregon? I, I know up here in Gig Harbor, Washington, it's hot. You're not too far away. Yeah, it's been it's been warming up out here, that's for sure. Well, what type of story do you have for us tonight? So 
so this actually, I didn't even know this was a story uh, that I had until recently. I started getting more into the Bigfoot world. <clears throat> but uh, I was visiting with my girlfriend. I think we were in Newport, Oregon. And we went out to go visit the beach. But by the time we got there, it was already dark. <clears throat> so we, and there was nobody there. We, we had to park at the parking lot, and we had to walk this boardwalk that went all the way down to the beach. And by the time we got to the beach, it was dark. There was no park, or nobody in the parking lot at all. There was nobody there. So as we start walking back, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we start hearing there's there's brush on the side that you can't see past. It's all bramble. You can't see anything on the boardwalk. There's it's not like an open space. You can see how we start hearing a rustling, a very light. We see we hear movement. We hear something heavy moving to the left of us behind this brush. And I didn't even realize it until we started moving quicker. But they were kind of like really heavy, soft footsteps. And I started hearing breathing, like horse breathing almost. You know when you hear something that has such a massive volume of air that's moving out of it, you can just hear, you can feel the air coming from it. That's what I was hearing. That would be scary. so we heard rustling. It was was so frightening. And the thing was is neither of us spoke. Neither of us spoke a word and we walked faster. We walked faster. We wouldn't run. We wouldn't dare run because we, we had that primal feeling, you know, like you shouldn't even be turning your back on this. And it followed us. It walked uh, like about maybe an eighth of a mile. It's, the noise followed us, the, the grunt the grunt sounds and the, the footsteps and the rustling. And it followed us all the way there. As soon as we got off the boardwalk, we got into the car. We didn't speak a word. We looked at each other. We left. And I didn't even realize until just a couple weeks ago that I had just probably had something that I could construe as a Bigfoot encounter. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I ran in back around the early 2000s into a Bigfoot. I mean, me and a friend actually saw one, and it actually came after us. And I'll tell you, I, you know, if it wanted to kill us, it would have done it. But it sure didn't oh, want yeah. us. It didn't want us where we were at. And I'll tell you, I was ne- I mean, the military, I thought, scared me in a few cases. That scared me more than anything. Uh, even more than my I've, first. I've heard your account about it several times now, and just hearing it every time chills me because just to know, to know in your heart that the thing that you're looking at could murder you at any split second it wanted to. Yeah, it could have. But what really scared me is when we drove, you know, a, a distance and stopped at a little store, we started talking to a guy who was actually uh, moved from the United States to Canada because he didn't want to go to Vietnam. But we were just talking because he knew we were really upset because, I mean, I think we were, were baffling on. Uh, you know, uh, we told him we went to the old internment camp up, you know, down the road, up, you know, it's the Canadian Rockies. And he starts saying, well, that's crazy because there's been a lot of bear attacks where, you know, they would find, you know, half eight and, uh, well, eight and people, eating people, uh, wow. you know, from the bears, you know. And he goes, what did you, did you have any weapons with you? And I go, no, because we're from the United States. We're not allowed to have any weapons. Do you have bear spray? Didn't even think about it, you know, because we didn't even think about anything but just going out and taking pictures. Sure. I, I tell you. Um, you know, the worst part of it is I could have killed my friend when he was trying to get in the car and all I could think about was getting away. You know, yeah. I kind of, I, I didn't even think about my friend as he was getting his leg into the car. I gave the car as much oh. gas as I could. And I, and you know, he's lucky he managed to get in because I was dragging him. <laughs> but you know, like I wow. told people, you know, that sucker threw a rock. Put a big dent in my wife's front fender, a brand new car. I had to go home. And, I, you know, my wife goes, okay, what were you smoking or what were you drinking? I go, you know I don't drink. I haven't smoked anything since I was in the military. I've been clean, you know. And and she goes, okay, well, what happened to the dent? How did I get there? And I said, we ran into a Bigfoot. Hey, you think she ever believed wow. me? No. Yeah, absolutely not. Jeez. No, that and that's what scares me. And I think a lot of people... You know, I get, you know, I've had other guests on the show. I got a guest that'll be on Wednesday. And, you know, again, she didn't physically see a Bigfoot, but she was out hiking with friends. And then she kind of like, you know, decided to rest on a big rock. And all of a sudden, you know, her she could see everybody. Okay. They were down the path a little ways. All of a sudden, rocks started, you know, coming flying by her. Not hitting her, but coming, you know, that's Sharon Day, matter of fact. Uh, she'll be on, I think, on Wednesday. The rocks, she saw rocks being thrown. 
that, you know, was her first encounter with a Bigfoot. So, I mean, they were, again, 